What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Clever's Multiverse. And today, I want to get into this guy right here, Marvel's Angel, fresh off the X-Men series. And you guys know I've been checking for this guy since early uh, 2024, late 2023. Whenever it was announced, I was on this. I said I wanted this guy. So here we are, front of the box. This is how it looks. The side artwork is looking immaculate. I really like the way this angel was looking here. I don't really remember reading too many comics with him with the red costume, but I really want to see what's going on with this. The other side of the box has the same exact picture, so you're not really missing anything there. And at the top, we have just the X-Men logo. So let's see what's going on. And here he goes, angel, fresh out the box and ready to go. And let me tell you guys something. It's been a long time since I've been this impressed with a figure. Like usually with the Lux figures, you know, I start sucking my teeth like $35, $40, and sometimes I don't even really want the guy, or I just feel like it's a cash grab or whatever the case is. But with this guy right here, he is definitely worth the $34.99 price tag, without question. So let's see what's going on with this guy really fast. Depending on how you look at it, you can either say this guy comes with three accessories or he comes with five accessories. Because the thing with Angel is, He's never really been like a heavy hitter for me. I've never been like, oh, wow, you know, Angel or Archangel are going to save the day, you know. But his wings are the accessory. Like, his wings are everything about him. Like, his name, his power, everything about him is his wings. So I want to say that his wings are an accessory, right? Because if this was like um, Vulture from Spider-Man, they would have tried to make him build a figure, right? They would have tried to make us buy six figures we really didn't want just to get some wings we really didn't want either, right? So, you know, I'm saying that these are accessories. So let's say he comes with five. Got the two wings. He has an extra set of hands and he has an extra head sculpt. Keeping true to form for 2024, these head sculpts continue to be amazing. Like, I really like this one. So this one kind of has like the like sharp edges coming in on the cheek. And also right there on the bridge of his nose coming down. Also has kind of like of his grin with his teeth showing. And this is a nice head sculpt. Like, this is really, really detailed right here. Like, you know, I've seen some head sculpts that are, I mean, we all have, right? That are like the worst. The other head sculpt kind of goes around. Bridges in, still very detailed, still very crisp, more of a playboy look, I think, more stoic, more like I'm ready for this, not scared, but these head sculpts are amazing. He comes with one pair of the open hands, which is the, I call them the about to do something hands. They're not really open, not really closed, they're about to do something. You know, and then we have the usual fisted hands that, you know, every Marvel character has to come with because every Marvel character wants to throw hands. So, yeah, we got those. I want to go into wing articulation really quick. So this will be like the starting, the smallest that you can get those wings if you're going to have them flat across his back. This would be the starting point for you, like as small as you would be able to get them if you want them flat on his back. Now we can go a little further with the second step and we can span it out. As you can see, the wings are getting bigger. I had to move back the camera because this would be the third step right here where you can just really lay out those wings going across. And this right here would be like total wingspan left to right. This is as far as you're going to get it out. And let me tell you something. This takes up a lot of space. This looks really nice, especially if you have it flying around. This is going to look good on your shelf. This is going to make your collection pop. But there's a little bit more to it too. Actually, I lied. I can get it out just a little bit more. So here we go. This is how long it is across. I'm wondering how long this is. Let me see if I got a ruler. All right. So this is kind of like a little rough estimate, but I'm getting about 16 inches in wingspan, guys. From left to right, I'm touching on left right here, about 16 inches left to right. That is bananas. But wait, there's more. Just like a late night infomercial, the wings don't just stay right there. You can also articulate them fully back. That is crazy. So you can actually take the wings Move them back, up, and down that much. You can put them all the way up and then backwards. So if I could just fly in this way, or maybe one up, one down, going for a turn, whatever the case is, that is crazy. Let's talk about articulation. I mean, all of these figures have become out great. This one has a slight bump. My other ones didn't, though. So, I mean, it has the bicep swivel right here. It does have the double jordan elbows. It twists at the wrist, not at the... Oh, it has a line here. Let me see something. Nope, just a line. This doesn't turn. I'm really loving the paint app on this figure. Once again, perfect. I don't see any blemishes. Whatever they did to step it up this year, please continue. I did have a problem with this figure as far as his kneecap. So I can get the first one to pop. The second one is giving me a problem. And since it does have this calf swivel, I don't want to pull it down too much because then, you know, I might pop that out. So I'm going to take some time later on to play with the feet. But that's the only problem I'm having them. And it's because it's tight because it's brand new i'm figuring once i do it one time and i get it out i'm not going to have that problem anymore as far as the head movement you can see how far you can look up 
looks like he's really flying up towards the sun. But at the same time, it's equally good coming down as if he's coming down, flying down, looking at somebody. That is crazy right there. So I love the head articulation that we have with this guy. And it doesn't look crazy like those Spider-Man figures, man. They had this hollow part underneath. This part is hollow too, but it, you know, it just fills in. Let me see something. Yeah, we don't have that problem with this guy. That is bananas. Now, nine times out of 10, any figure that has this much weight on his back, you're not gonna be able to stand him up. I mean, you see the problems that we have with capes and capes are nowhere near this heavy. But look how they designed this guy. If you really wanted to put his wings all the way back, you could stand him up because the tip of each wing is just long enough to compensate for the weight. And it doesn't feel like that weight is going to like further bend him. It feels like it's strong enough to hold him right there because it's not really holding him up. It's just like, uh, like training wheels. After playing with the articulation, I also noticed that you can actually bend the wings forward so you can shift weight to the front so that you can stand the figure up the way you want to. Usually, this weight will be all the way back here, right? So he keeps falling back. But you can just push it forward and now lean it forward. See that? So now the weight is coming forward. And you can do it as much as you want. Obviously, I over-exaggerated right there just to show you the premise of what I'm talking about. But that's official right there. They really thought about this. Because let me show you what could have happened. So right here is the angel that I've been rocking with for I don't know how many years now. If you know, you know. This is the old school, what is it, Toy Biz Angel. And like I said, I've been rocking with him for a long time now. So let's look at the differences between these two because I can see a bunch right off the bat. First things first, I can tell you right now, this guy is super back heavy. There is no way you're ever going to get this guy to stand. That's what's going to happen all day. The only good thing about this guy is that he actually comes with a clear stand in the case. I think this was from the Sentinel. I forget which one he came from. This, these guys are so old. But he came with a stand. It's, he's so old, the stand broke. Me putting him in, putting him out. And I had him flying through the stand. But this guy, you're never going to be able to stand him up. Not with these wings. No way. Speaking of wings, that's all you're going to get. This is all the articulation you're going to get. Back, forward. That's it. That's all the articulation you're going to get. You can pull them back and now he's really going to drop or you can put them forward and he's gliding. That's about it. The one thing that I will give these wings is the paint on the wings. I love how they made them real feathery. They got to going from like a white to a beige to a light gray to a dark gray. They got the shadows right. They have everything there right. That part about the wings I really like because that is what the new angel is missing. Those wings look very monotone and plastic while these wings look more realistic. But that's pretty much all that this figure has going for it. The face sculpt on the new angel is immaculate. The old one, not so much. I never really got Warren Worthington vibes from this guy. The old angel can probably articulate just a little more going up, but it doesn't look as realistic. Angel still has the red filling. This guy has the white on the throat, which kind of throws it off. You can't help but look at that and wonder. It just makes it look less realistic. Looking down, the new angel takes it as well. It looks strong. It looks like he almost has that magneto flow when magneto comes down. You know what I mean? And this angel just looks kind of like, <laughs> like he's going through it, like somebody hurt his neck or something. <laughs> he needs a massage. Let's take a look at the arms real quick. The red angel. Look at this. Perfect body sculpting. The old one with the ball hinges. Man, we hated those ball joints, right? It just makes it look so different. That That's trash right here now that I look at it. I mean, I never really did like those ball hinges to begin with. I was never looking at it like, oh, this guy is so official. It's just that he was the only one on the market, you know. And Archangel wasn't even out yet. So, yeah. The Angel Halo on the red, perfect. This one, not so much. You know what I mean? On a side-by-side -side with the legs, Angel looks like he has never missed leg day. He's doing his squats. This one, uh, back to the ball joints at the top, and the legs just look too far apart, look too stringy. This is where you use the word, like, discombobulated. Is that where you use it? He looks a little bit like that. When I first got this figure, I appreciated this wash that it had on it, like this little blue tone. And I was like, oh, okay, kind of bleeds in and, you know, whatever. And I, I thought it was cool, but... Looking back now, look how clean that Red Angel looks. One thing about 2024 is these paint jobs are immaculate, crisp, and detailed. And yeah, I don't want no red wash on my white with this guy. I want him looking perfect, just like this. The old Angel, you could articulate the hands. But to be honest with you, when you close the hands, it kind of looks whack. Like, I don't know. 
I don't like that, right? And does Andrew really need articulated knuckles? He has the same thing with toe hinges. And I'll be honest with you, I'm always for toe hinges. But now, with this guy, I don't like him too much. He doesn't really need toe hinges either. And they kind of make him look, I don't know. Once again, discombobulated. What's up with that? Total wingspan on the old Arc Angel, and we're looking at about 13 inches. About 13. That's three inches more pause than the Red Angel has. You know what I mean? That's crazy, man. That wingspan is official. So what are my thoughts about this figure? Good, bad, the ugly, the truth, and the real. I mean, straight up, I like this figure 100% a lot. I really don't have too many faults with it. Besides that kneecap issue that I spoke to you about, but that's nothing that wouldn't come with any other figure. That could come with any figure straight out the box. This figure is pinless. This figure is articulate. This figure has a three inch bigger wingspan than the previous one. The paint job is better. The face sculpt is better. The only gripe that I have with this figure is that the wings could have been painted on a little bit better. If they could have took a little more time with the detail and painted it the way the older Archangel's wings were to give it that feathery feel, like these look beige, right? But wings aren't really beige. They're more like seagulls, right? They're like white and have some black, they have some gray in it, which is what the blue one had. But besides that, I think that this figure is a go all day. How could you not want this guy in your X-Men collection? Now to be clear, I think you guys should run out and get this guy immediately. Make no mistake, I will put money on it. They're going to release the blue one next. I guarantee you they're going to release the blue one next. Don't wait until the blue one comes out to say, hey, I want the red one, and that price is going to skyrocket. And with that being said, I want to thank you for stopping my Clever's Multiverse. It was great to unbox this angel put him against the old angel I had. I'm glad you was there to share with me. Coming up next, Wolverine and Sabretooth Double Pack. Until next time, peace.